Now let's talk about forms and surveys. Every website needs a call to action, which can come in many different varieties. Phone call, call now with a button that instantly calls. We got uh, obviously the chats that we've talked about. In this case, we're going to talk about forms where we have typically requests for an estimate, subscribe, contact us now. And these are forms that we typically embed on your website. We'll start off with something like the request a move quote, the most popular ones. And this is how we're going to be capturing information. Obviously, we've seen here your name, your email, phone, all those have to be required. We definitely want the moving from, the moving to, what type of move we're going to have and any comments that they might have. In addition, we incorporate the source, like where did this, where did they fill this form out? If we embed this on a web page, I want to know what page it was on when they completed the form. Now, every one of these forms is tied to a client or a contact field. We can create any kind of field. If you have a move in and move out cleaning service, we might want to use that as an upsell. We would put that as an option in here. Would you, would you like to include a move in and move out cleaning service rather than a move type where I have a home, apartment, a commercial move, pack only, those types of move services. We can create a form that works with your business and how you like to, the kind of information you need to provide a really good quote. In addition, like I mentioned, I really want to make sure that we offer the upsells. Again, if you've got labor only, maybe you rent trucks, maybe you do junk removal, all those things are going to be really important. The another part to any form is understanding that this is a qualifier. I don't really like using basic contact forms, which just has a phone, email, comments, and a name. It, it lends itself to just anybody filling out the information. And sometimes it becomes like the cheat way of getting you to call them because maybe someone doesn't want to fill all this information in. I just want to talk to someone, which is fair, but if we're going to be sending you a lot of leads, I need to make sure that they're qualified at some point and try and not have so many people coming in from selling you something or looking for a job, whatever I can do to help qualify. That's what these forms are. This is just how we build them out. You can see there's some options in here. Obviously I've chosen the move type. We've got different options here. I can make pretty much we make these all required. Integrating helps me figure out where we have a copy embed code and we use HTML embed and that puts it on any, any site, any page on the website. I'm going to go back. One thing that to understand too, is we always incorporate an automation. When somebody does fill out this form, you will get a copy of that email in your chosen email account. It could be sales at marketing at Joe at whichever works for you. But understand that every single time somebody fills out this form, it does show in the conversation section. If you want to know where more details about who has actually filled out these forms, you can come in here into submissions. You can go at the top forms and submissions and you'll see any, you can see all forms. But if we're going to do like, let's just say the request a moving quote, this is where you would see all every single entry. And of course you want to choose the date that the entry was completed. If you have an operational CRM like smart moving, if, and it has an API, we can send that data to your operational CRM. That way we don't have to manually enter this data every single time. If you want to know some more details about who filled out the form, I can show you how to audit and get the details about the person that, that you got that form from. So you can see that the 
the details of what somebody has filled out. And you can actually see the page details of where that person came from when they filled out the form. This came from an organic search, Google. It came into this particular, it was a widget, obviously. We've actually embedded the form on the website, Medium and Forms. We're actually getting a little bit more detail about this information too. If it came in from a paid ad, we're getting a little bit better about knowing what what paid ad campaign and even the choice of key phrases they use to find you. It might not be in this particular location, but it would be in definitely Mr. Wirtanen's contact detail page. I'll show you on the live website what that might look like if I want to book a strategy call on the moving marketing side. This is a form. Now in this case this is a survey and when we come back here we have forms and surveys. Surveys allow us to break it up a little bit into pages. You I, you can use this, it's got some conditional logic, the forms do too, but uh, sometimes it, you just need to have a little bit more detail. I can, as I walk through this, I can have some, a little bit more information about the person. It keeps it short. We don't have this really, really long details or really long form, and we can keep going through this. If you're a client of ours, you've seen this already. And again, this is an embedded form, or in this case, an embedded survey. And I hit submit. And if you filled out the form just right, it will send me to a calendar. We can talk about this in another video, but the calendar is also a feature for the app. It allows, if you want to do some estimates, some at home estimates, real time or even virtual, you can have them schedule this time using the same tool. Now, if I come back here to the moving marketing here, I can see there's my accelerators. I can look at any of the submissions and there's the one that I, I just filled out. And you can see it was direct traffic, so I typed it in specifically. And you can see it was the survey that I filled out, but there's all of my details in here. So, All right, so that's a quick overview of forms and surveys. Just make sure when you get these forms that you plug the leaky bucket by answering them as quickly as possible. Let us know the best way you would like to receive them, whether that's an email sent into your operational CRM, or if you want to come in here and check each of the leads, make sure again, always remind you to go into the opportunities and move them through the pipeline. Thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.